channel I am so excited for today's video because I am finally sitting down to share Scarlett's room tour if you guys are new to my channel my daughter and I long story short we just moved into an apartment because I am going through a divorce with my ex-husband so um, I really tried to make this the best experience for my daughter and give her a beautiful room and put a lot of time and effort and energy into her space and I'm just so happy with how everything turned out. We are renting an apartment, so everything in this room, including this beautiful wallpaper back here, is removable. If you guys like home decor videos like this, like I do, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. If you guys see anything you like in a room, I'm gonna do my best to link whatever I can down below in the description box. So make sure to check that out if you're looking for something you see in this video. Okay, so when you walk into her room, the first thing you're gonna see is this cute little Little hello sign and if you guys have been following me for a long time you probably have seen this before I shared this in her nursery tour when she was really little and we still have it so it just kind of hangs on our door it's kind of a cute little touch I actually got this back in Kansas where I'm from from a small little mom-and-pop shop so adorable um, but I won't be able to link this but when you open her room this is what you see and I actually love that the wallpaper is on this back wall because this is my kitchen, this is like my dining area, but you can kind of see the pop of the wallpaper and I think it's a really cute little touch. So the wallpaper is definitely the statement piece of the room. It's from a brand called Loomwell and they do all sorts of <laughs> removable wallpapers. They have decals, they have so many cute patterns and prints and I'm gonna leave a link to them down below. I actually have a discount code for you guys to save. I think it's 15% off with my code Caitlin15 and that'll save you 15% off the removable wallpaper. This wallpaper took some time to put up. It definitely took me a couple hours. It would have been easier had I had a extra person to help me but it was just me putting it up and um, you just have to make sure you get that first panel correct the first time and then after that it's a lot easier definitely would recommend having two people install it they have a ton of tutorials too but their wallpaper is just darling and perfect if you're renting because it's not going to damage the wall it's not going to um, be hard to take down it's really easy actually but anyways i'm just going to kind of make my way around these bookshelves are one of the first things that are hung on the wall and these are from ikea they're four different bookshelves you can find these in the kids section and they are just so cute they're simple they hold all of her books i just have four of them and they're really inexpensive. I think they're like 10 or $12 a piece, something like that. Um, but I love having all of her books on display. She loves reading her books. I love reading to her. And then this little area over here, this is actually, she has a closet and then a bathroom too. This is also our guest bathroom, so it's like a Jack and Jill. Um, but I'll take you in her closet really fast. This is actually a massive closet, <laughs> way bigger than what she needs. So this is where I store all of her toys. So I have her princess dresses hanging up over here. I have this little toy organizer. I have her um, little tent from Ikea, some of her play stuff. There's this built-in storage here, which is so nice. Um, but I just have more toys and random stuff. Her puzzles are, are all over here. Um, this I actually bought off of Amazon. This was in her closet um, back at my old house. If you guys remember, her shoes actually sat on this. This little storage rack for her puzzles is amazing. This is by Melissa and Doug too, I think. But yeah, this is how I have everything organized. All of her like sentimental stuff is up here, like her helmet that she had to wear, um, her hip brace that she had to wear. Um, my mom made this S for her, her uh, little ultrasound picture. Um, so just some more meaningful stuff. It's definitely not organized the best. But then when you turn over here, um, again, not organized, but <laughs> it is what it is. I just moved in two weeks ago. This is where I hang up her clothes. So I just have like random stuff up there. Her shoes are on this little organizer from Ikea. This is her Halloween costume. <laughs> She's gonna be a butterfly. And all of her nicer clothes are hung up. And then down here, it's just random, a random blanket her hamper. This is actually where I store all of her arts and crafts stuff. So I have some of her like crayons and markers and paint and stuff in here. Sensory play activities. This is where all of that stuff is kept in this little 
container right here. So once you exit her closet and go back into her room, this little corner is one of my favorite little corners in her room. So first of all, I have this little plant hanger that has stuffed animals in it. Um, these stuffed animals are by Cuddle and Kind. Most of them are. Um, they're really cute. This is like a little dog and I think they donate one to a child in need or something like that um, for everyone purchased something like that. I might have said that wrong. But this plant hanger is from Hobby Lobby. And um, next you're going to see this little wood cutout. I got this from Jane.com. So the thing with Jane.com is they have like daily deals. So I've seen this on Jane.com a lot and I just ordered I, something like this for my bedroom. So just check back if you don't see it. Um, and then the next thing that I have is this little rack and I get lots of questions about this rack. So I believe this is a tool rack. <laughs> so random, I know. This was at my old house as well. I brought this with us and I got this at Ikea. Um, but really like any kind of um, like towel rack or something like that could easily work for this whole setup. Um, you just need something that doesn't stick out super far. There's like not very much space <laughs> between here. Um, but this is how I just have some of her cute little dresses on display. I mean, these dresses are way too cute to not be on display first of all. But the wood hangers are from Ikea and then the puppy dog dress and then the kitty cat dress. These are from a brand called Taylor Joelle Designs. They're so pretty. Scarlett loves these. Um, this one is from Sasha and Luca. Really pretty. And then this one over here is from Pippa and Julie. So they're just like all tool and really pretty to lay out. So I love those. I kind of switch them out as I get new ones in for her. Um, and then over here, this is her lollipop baby cam. We've had this forever. I highly recommend this as a monitor. I love it. It's really easy just to kind of wrap around this thing. And I see, I mean, I get a full view of her room while she sleeps. This monitor connects directly to my phone so I can pull her up whenever I need to through my phone. It's really easy. And then underneath her dresses, I have this little chair set up. I do think I want to get like a bigger rug. I think eventually I'll replace this and get a bigger rug, like an eight by 10 that kind of extends out more. Um, but for now, this is what we have and it's still really cute. This rug probably looks familiar too. This came from our old house. It's by Lorena Canals and it's a washable rug. It has a really subtle pattern on it. There's like purples and um, like a pink color, yellow, and I love the tassels. But this cute chair, it's a metal chair. It's from Target. And then this pillow back here, this one is from At Home. And then this one, so adorable, is from Project Whim on Instagram. So I just have that cute little setup. She could read books there or whatever. And then this probably looks familiar too. This is how I've always stored her blankets. And then I have another Project Whim pillow right in there. And then just a bunch of really cute blankets. This is from Pottery Barn. She's had all of these since she was an infant. My mom had this quilt made for her, so that's really special. And then these are just special blankets that she's had since she was a baby. We don't really use them, but. So then next is her bed. And I love her bed. Her bed is definitely another staple piece in her room. And it's just so fun and so cute and simple. It's literally just wood planks. But anyways, it has a cute little chimney up here. And I got this bed from a brand on Instagram called Purveyor15. I will, again, have everything linked. And this is the one with slats. So there are slats under here. So her mattress doesn't sit directly on the floor. It sits on the slats. But this is what you would call a house bed. And it's just darling, in my opinion. I have some cute little lights that are hanging from her bed. These are from Target. They were like $10, super simple. And um, I kind of have them wrapped around the side and then just stringing all the way across. Down here, these little um, eyelashes, these are from Hobby Lobby. They were like five bucks, super cheap. And then her pillows. This is another Project Whim pillow. This is from Carousel Designs. She actually had a matching sheet set um, for her crib when she was a little baby. That was that same print. And then this pillow's from At Home, the white one. Those, um, that pillowcase, the hearts, that's from Target. And then this whole bedding is from Betty's. So if you're not familiar with the brand Betty's, it is life-changing. I have that bedding on Scarlett's bed and I have that bedding on my bed, but it's so nice because it's literally a zip bedding. So inside it, um, for Scarlett's, not for mine, cause I'd get too hot, but she has like a minky material inside and it's literally just like a comforter 
that zips up so it makes it so easy to make her bed every day. Um, so yeah, you just zip it down, she can climb right in it, and then every single morning, I just zip it up. It's that simple. It's awesome. I love this bedding. They have so many different cute ones too. Overall, Betty's bedding is just so convenient and perfect for kids and perfect to easily make beds. I've really been loving them. I can't wait to show you guys my bedding. And then last but not least on her bed is this blanket. She's always loved this blanket. It's by um, Sarah Noni. It's been like her go-to little blanket. So I always have that laid out. And then over here in the corner, I have a little Ikea tree and it's in a little basket from Amazon. It's just these little artificial fiddle leaf trees. I didn't want to put anything real in here for her um, that's big like that. Just, you know, you never know if toddlers are going to get into something. And um, I'm going to shut her blinds so I can show you guys her curtains. And there you can see her curtains a little bit better. So she has the blackout style curtains and these are from Target. They're the brand Pillow Fort. And then also she has a gold curtain rod. It's kind of hard to tell because of the lighting, um, but that's also from Target. I think that was a Project 62, but these curtains are awesome. They're so heavy and durable and um, they help block out extra light, which helps with nap time and early mornings. And then on the other side of her room is this cute little area. I got her a dresser. This is something new that we've added to her room. She didn't have a dresser at our old house, but it was time to get a dresser. So um, this dresser is from Wayfair. I love it. The um, natural wood really ties in with her bed, but I also didn't want it to be, oh, hi, Andy. Are you coming to say hi? I also didn't want it to be all natural wood because I, I didn't want it to be too much. So I love how it had like a mixture of the white and then the wood. And this dresser was fairly inexpensive. It was like, I don't know, 160 or something like that. It's a four drawer dresser and I do have it anchored to the wall. So that is where it's staying. But having a dresser has been really nice. On top of her dresser, I have this cute mirror. This actually was in her bedroom at the old house. And this is from Target. It has like a gold frame around it. So I did want to incorporate some real plants into her room. So I have a couple aloe vera plants in her room and um, I got these, I think the plants from Walmart. Actually, I think the whole thing's from Walmart. I just love including plants into decor. And then in this corner of her dresser, I have her lamp that's from Target, her sound machine, which she still uses. Um, this is the Dom sound machine. She's used this ever since she was a newborn. And then this cute little nightlight. This is by Little Bell Nightlight, I think it's the brand. Um, it's just so darling, it lights up and I actually need to get a new light bulb for this, but I think it's just so cute sitting up there. Her drawers are not anything special, to be honest. I just have t-shirts up there, um, bows that she doesn't wear. This is not organized at all, but um, these are like shorts and all of her um, like Lulu and Rue shorts that she wears. And oops, down here is where I store her pajamas. So I had these lower so she can actually get these out herself. And then in the bottom drawer is where I have her socks and undies. And then when you move on over, this is a fun little setup that I'm really happy with how it turned out. So when I did the wallpaper, I actually had extra. So I thought I would jazz up her Ikea kitchen and kind of tie that into the room. So I just added it to the sides and then to the top of the kitchen and then the inside and then um, the top part as well. And I think it just added something extra. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So there's still a lot I wanna do with her little kitchen, but my mom bought this for her for her like an early birthday present when they were here visiting and Scarlett's been loving it. So in her kitchen, I just have all of her food. Over here, I have just some more of her, like this is her birthday cake. Um, this is her pancakes. So just all of her little kitchen stuff. Um, this actually lights up too, by the way. And then I have some of her coffee cups hanging up, her little um, Melissa and Doug um, Keurig. This is like the microwave. Um, and then just like this little artificial succulent. And then on top I have just some little wooden toys. Um, this is from Gather. These are from, oh gosh, what's that wood brand? I can't remember, I'll have to link them. And then this cute little, this is actually a light. This is from My Little Dove on Instagram. Such a cute little shop, um, but this is battery powered. So I love it, it's very adorable. And then also I have her name puzzle. So I get questions on this quite a bit too. 
I actually ordered this through one of our local boutiques, Joss and Jay. I'm going to link them, but um, so, so cute. It's just a wood puzzle of her name. And then to the right of her little kitchen, I just have an artificial plant. This is from Target. And um, this was in my bedroom, actually, at the old house. And then above her kitchen, I have these shelves, which these shelves are so popular. I get questions on these shelves all the time. These shelves were purchased through Facebook Marketplace, so I have no idea where they came from. However, I found a link similar to these um, on Amazon, so I'm going to link that for you guys. But on these shelves, I just have another, this is like weird, like... <laughs> It's like going out. Um, this is a uh, aloe vera plant as well. It's the same plant as that one. So I just have two of those in a room. This little house came from um, at home and I just thought it was cute to add into here because it kind of like goes with the house bed theme. This was actually sent to us by a subscriber um, when Scarlett had her surgery. I don't remember who, but if this was you, thank you. It's so adorable and I think it's from Target. And then um, I also have this other succulent and um, this was from at home and then on top of her shelves another succulent this one's artificial i have a letter board that says in a field of roses she is a wildflower letter boards from oak and maid and then i love this little clock i bought this at at home recently and that is scarlet's room so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below if you guys like room tour videos like this and home decor videos like this don't forget to check out the links down below in the description box and i'll see you guys in my next one bye